Oh, I got into book selling for the wrong reasons. I like to hang out in bookstores. Yeah, that's not why you're supposed to start a career. I bought this store because it was a great store. There were very few like it in America. For a long time, I had to kind of live in the shadow of these larger-than-life characters, Fred and Pat. If I look back on it, you know that, what's that, 50 years ago, neither one of us could have done it without the other. I was as deeply involved in the store as Fred was. Paperbacks changed book selling, and Cody's brought that revolution to Berkeley. They sold high ideas at low cost and launched a counterculture. And they weren't alone. Across the San Francisco Bay, Kepler's Books was a radical oasis off the Stanford campus. I think it was more a focal point because of my dad's politics. The store became something because my dad was something. When I came to work in the store in 79 and 80, I heard the most wonderful comments that always had this central theme. My rabbi told me never to come here, or my mother told me I should never come to Kepler's. And 201, the story always ended was, and that's why I came. It was the place to be. The message of the book story is that you could have a commercial enterprise, yet at the same time you could make it into something that breathed life and breathed ideas. You could have an intellectual life outside the university, and it could be a fun life and a vibrant life. You only go into the book business because you've got a passion for books. That's the only reason to go into this business, because it's a pretty lousy business model. There were like a lot of revolutions going on between the 70s and the 90s, all of which cut against my store. The growth of chain stores, the growth of big box shopping centers, the growth of the internet, change of reading habits. They were all things that really hurt us. There was nothing much that helped us except Harry Potter. <laughs> and everybody was selling Harry Potter. Stores like Cody's and Kepler's are at risk. In an era defined by fast technology, they stand for something slower, in some ways richer, but certainly harder to sell. This is the tale of two bookstores and their struggle to survive. <laughs>